Okay, hey guys, so Angie inspired me to go ahead and do a Wax Picks videos. This is what I'm gonna try to warm over the next week. And honestly, it was kind of funny because as I was going through picking these out and pulling them out and like when you look at it in front of you, I don't know if you can, let's just kind of zoom around here. This is quite a bit of wax, but as I was pulling it out of the boxes, I was like, dang, I have a lot of wax. So even if I get through this, I still have a crap ton of other wax to get through. So let's go ahead and get started. As I was doing this, I was trying to think, okay, where am I going to warm this? Because I feel like certain vendors you have to use with certain warmers. So I was trying to think about my daughter's room. I was trying to think about the bathrooms, kitchen. You get the idea. And then like our living room, which is kind of a bigger space. And I need to put something super strong in that warmer for it to really throw. So... First thing I thought I could put this in my daughter's room, it's kind of small, so it'd probably go perfect in a Scentsy Warmer, is Blue Bay Marshmallows by Up the Creek. And I haven't warmed a lot of Up the Creek. This just smells like a blueberry scent. I think my daughter would probably really like that. Sugar and Spice Mac Apple Green Grass can pretty much be warmed anywhere. I found I warmed something in my Scentsy Warmer that's in my living room and this one, uh, Sugar and Spice, actually did pretty well in there. So not as strong as it is in other rooms, but this is just really good. I, I picked a lot of like clean, fresh scents because I'm going to be doing a lot of hopefully cleaning in the next couple weeks. Bluebird Cafe from VCS. I'm going to use this in my daughter's bathroom scentsy. I think that's the perfect size. And this is a really good strawberry scent. Yeah, I'm excited to smell Kirby's Strawberry. I've been dying to try this sunshine cake from Rainbow Melts. So I thought this would go probably good in the kitchen. Front porch, we have Kiss Me Till Midnight, Pretty Day, and Tiki Paradise. I don't know what is in this. This just smells like such a good bedroom scent. Or even in like my daughter's room, it's just a really, really pretty scent. So I'm really excited to warm that. And these are the triple layered... I don't know, is it macaroons, macarons? I don't know. I believe my friend Erin, thank you Erin, I think we did some sort of swap and she sent me a sugar cookie royale from BZ. I've never tried BZ before, so I was super excited to warm some of his stuff and the little bag has a tear in it, so I probably need to use that anyways, but that would probably be, be good in the kitchen. This, I'm just trying to get through the Case Creation Snow Cake. These were the Catch em While You Can tarts, and I thought I'd try it since I like snow cake. There's only three of those left, so I, I figured it would be easy to get through those. This, I've been dying to try forever. This is Two Timing Tart, Dad's Clean Blend. And it's like a clean cotton blend, but it is so good. I don't know what else she puts in there. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is starting to go. I don't know what she puts in there, but it just smells so good. I was excited to try this. This will probably go in my kitchen when I do my big kitchen clean day, which I'm not looking forward to. This next one is Wonderlust. This is also, I believe, a fresh scent. Yeah, I don't remember what's in this, but that's interesting. I'll have to look up the scent description, but it just smells like a fresh scent to me. Some, with something else mixed in. The other one, I thought this would be good for like my living space, minty fresh vanilla. When I was getting tired of like the cleaning type scents, minty fresh vanilla would probably be just like a good, I don't know, like a clean spring type scent. There's quite a few. How many ounces is this? Four ounce? Yeah. Also, I did a swap with my friend Erin, and so we traded for, I don't remember what I traded for, but she sent me the Spindle Curse, which I've been dying to try. I don't remember what is in here, to be honest, but it's on the older side, so it's probably good to go. This is one of my all-time favorite VCS scents. This is Violet. I never know how to pronounce this. I need to, I'm sure there's some like special way. But anyways, I have a second pack, so I feel okay about 
using this, I have a backup. <laughs> this is just so good. It's violets and I believe wafers. And it just, the combination of the two is amazing. And I thought this would be good for a cleaning day as well because it's a nice spread of, uh, to me, it's like a fresh, clean scent, you know, with a little, uh, well, obviously floral since it's got violets in it. This I thought would be good for both our, um, not our, my husband and I's bedroom, blue sugar laundry, something that he would like as well. I think he'd really like the blue sugar and it's a, um, you know, the blue sugar is kind of a manly. Of course, this one is really strong on laundry, which I find a lot with front porch. So this could be used as a, maybe a cleaning day in the living room as well type of scent. Clean Sheets was another one that I was thinking of for the living room since I get a good throw from Lake Providence Lodge. Clean Sheets is perfect. This one just smells like clean sheets. I think she's got on her site what this actually is. It's like either Tide or Downy or something, but this one smells really fresh and clean. This is a pretty big hunk. I'm going to have to weigh it and see. How much I can get in there. Okay, so a scent shot here and toasted apple mango tingle. I've had this for quite a while. And I've heard really good things about this scent, so I've been kind of dying to try it. So hopefully it doesn't make me want to go order because I've been kind of looking at a few Haley's he Heavenly Scents scents. So I have one chunk of Rose Girl Circus Concession left, which I'm going to try out. This is Pearls of Winter from the Bathing Garden. This is a, almost like a fruity, fresh scent. So I thought this would be good for um, the spring, you know, this time of year as well. Toasted Waffle Cone is gonna be a good one for the kitchen. You know how much I love my Case Creations scents. I have three scallop tarts left in Grandma's Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. This is my favorite scent of all time. So I'm gonna put this down on my list of the next time I order from Haley. The next time I order from Haley's Heavenly Scents, that this is a must purchase. Okay, and from the Glitterati, I've never actually warmed anything, so I pulled out the very top thing in my Glitterati box poured January 2015 so hopefully that's enough time cure time lemon ring shortbread ice cream that sounds perfect have just a little bit of this pink paradise cookie bread which I adore this is definitely has to be a reorder so when I'm done with this I need to write it down on my list miracle on 34th street I actually have two of these so I feel okay about warming this I don't know what this is but this is just freaking gorgeous oh it just smells so creamy love it gosh if this comes back in like if we could get, vote this one up in a restock I would be so happy I would definitely get some more of this miracle on 34th street I don't know what is in it but it is creamy goodness guys Miracle on 34th Street. I feel like I need to do like a one of those hi hypnosis things. Miracle on 34th Street. Vote for it. Okay. And then from Scentsy, I have Fresh Cut Daisies. I've been dying to try this one because I've really been loving like fresh cut grass. And that's kind of what this is with a little bit of a floral note to it. So I'm excited to see how that one goes. Sometimes with Scentsy, like when you smell it on cold, it smells one way, and then when you heat it up, it just does not smell the same. Okay, Yuzu Dragon is one I've been needing to use up. I've had this for quite a bit, so kind of need to use that up. I have four cubes in there, so this one's really good. This is a super strong fruity scent, so I don't exactly know what a Yuzu is, but this one is really strong. I remember when I used this from before in my daughter's Scentsy Warmer, it was like throwing out the bathroom down the hall. You could smell this one everywhere. So this is a good one. Okay, so this is what I'm going for here, people. This is quite a bit, so I don't really know how long this will take me to get through, but I don't know. I'm just gonna see how it goes and, um, you know, 
We'll see. Okay, so anyways, thank you, Angie, for inspiring me. Like I said, I'm on a wax band, so I'm trying really hard to keep myself busy and off of the Facebook boards, especially today since Super Tarts is doing their sampler restock, and she's offering two. So, yeah, I just really need to stay away, even though I, I, I know I want both of those, but I need to stay away. Okay, <laughs> so... I'm going to stay away. I'm saying it again. All right. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to do a weekly wax picks videos, I, I don't see a lot of these. Um, I really like them actually. I like to see what people are, are like pulling out of their stash and like what their thought process is, is when they, when they pick something out. You know, Cause I did kind of try to think about these when I was pulling them out. I tried to pull out a little bit of clean, a little bit of bakery, a little bit of fresh, fruity. I'm like covered in every scent category. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.